it's better that directly. Sure, sure, okay. Okay, so uh, you go ahead. Uh, so we have our uh, next speaker, uh, uh, Manish Mishra. He's from Mysore, Pune, but right now he is in US. So it's very early morning for him, and he is going to talk about uh, super cuspidal representations for finite and PID groups. Manish. Thank you, Anipam, for uh, having me, and thanks, Shipat, if you are around, and uh, and thanks everybody else. So let me go ahead. So today I'll only talk about uh, the broad picture of this uh, uh, super cuspidals uh, and uh, cuspidal representations, and how they play a role in, in the representation theory how one is related to the other, and then the statements about uh, existence uh, of, uh, of these objects. And uh, probably we will not begin with the, uh, the proof parts uh, in this lecture. So, uh, so let, so we begin with a connected reductive group. G is a connected reductive over uh, non archimedean local field uh, f and uh, let rg the category of smooth representations uh, so uh, uh, smooth just means that uh, every vector uh, is fixed by some uh, small uh, compact open subgroup of the um, of the f rational points of G, and we denote by irgf the irreducible objects. So these are the irreducible representations. And one of the motivations uh, of study is the Langlands program. <clears throat> so Langlands program um, sets up a dictionary of uh, these irreducible objects with certain arithmetic objects, which are defined abstractly. And these irreducible objects they are more concrete objects. So you can um, uh, more or less concretely define how they look like. And uh, you get hold of the arithmetic objects in terms of uh, these uh, irreducible objects. And uh, the arithmetic objects are believed to contain a lot of arithmetic information, which is useful everywhere. So now I talk about the building blocks of these irreducible objects. So for that, I talk about uh, parabolic induction. So M is a Levy, sub Levy factor of uh, an F parabolic. P is equals to mu. So u is a unipotent radical. And then we have a functor called parabolic induction functor from the category of RM to the category of RG. And this functor we denote say by V comma sigma V goes to uh, in e g sigma comma in e g v sigma and uh, concretely in p g v sigma this is functions on the f points to v sigma uh, such that f is locally constant and uh, F M U G is equals to sigma M F G 
uh, for all m in mf g in gf so you uh, what you are doing is you are inflating the presentation trivially uh, uh, all the way to m by declaring it uh, trivial on u all the way to p and then declaring it by declaring it to trivial on p and then doing the usual fun induction function so uh, if you directly induce from the representation of m then you get very large space it will have uh, uh, you know non manageable number of irreducible components while this functor it's generically irreducible so that i'll explain later so uh, you mostly get irreducibility if you do parabolic induction and then this uh, this is a representation so it admits an action this action this is a, it's a space of functions so action is by right trans translations and um, so this functor admits a left adjoint uh called jack a restriction uh so you you take the v space v sigma you quotient it out by uh elements of the form uh, uh a space generated by uh lambda minus u lambda where u is in unipotent radical and that admits the representation of m and that is the jack a restriction functor so and then uh, we define a supercuspidal representation um if uh, the jacket restriction is trivial for all proper parabolic subgroups so you cannot it is it is not sitting inside any induced representation uh for uh for any proper parabolic induction so then the theorem uh is it of jacke or harishchandra i don't know uh that if tau is an irreducible representation then tau is a sub quotient of a parabolic induction where uh, uh sigma is uh, supercuspidal uh of mf uh and moreover for uh, given tau this uh, pair is uniquely determined to conjugation so um, so this this theorem says that uh, all representations are uh, build out of uh, uh supercuspidal representations in this sense uh that they uh you take a supercuspidal uh, you induce it and then you you take or its uh, irreducible sub sub portions there are only finitely many of them uh and then this you can give a bound on how many of them in terms of uh, some kind of vial group and uh, so so you have a control over this and uh, you can uh, you have an approach of describing these components by the endomorphism algebra of this uh, induced space which uh, in many cases um, can be described in terms of generators and relations so so that is um, that is why these are the 
uh, these are very important. They are the building blocks. And um, so j this theorem of uh, Jackie or Harishchandra, uh, you can you can state somewhat more refined way by theorem of Bernstein. So. Um, in terms of um, uh, block decomposition of categories, so let's talk. Let's uh, define a, a subgroup not G, which consists of those elements of GF, which have uh, trivial valuation for all um, uh, 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 no, have trivial uh, this norm of this valuation. Uh, for for, for uh, a trivial valuation for all new G, uh, new in home F G to G M. So G M is one dimensional algebraic group, and uh, unramified characters of G are defined to be those characters. Uh, which uh, have trivial restriction to this large uh, subgroup. So uh, if G is semi-simple, not G is just G. And so uh, there is so the, there are no unramified twists. So unramified twist is, is just uh, characters which are trivial on really large uh, thing. Uh, um, Manish, what is the condition uh, in the definition of unramified character? Uh, you take the characters and then you, uh, for for all G, uh, you collect all G uh, for which uh, um, the valuation is one for, for all characters. No, the next definition. Unramified, ah, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, is, is, um, is trivial on this. Ah, OK. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Unramified characters. Yeah. Characters. OK, so uh, uh, one remark is that this um, unramified characters has uh, structure of a complex variety and um, this uh, induction functor is uh, is generically inducible in the sense that it's irreducible for for all new except for a major zero uh, thing Measure zero uh, uh, set of news. But uh, whenever it reduces, it plays an important part in the theory um, in the context of Langner's program. So, theorem of Bernstein. is that uh, this category of smooth representations is a product of subcategories, full subcategories. So meaning that irreducible subquotients are always contained of any given representation in the same block. And uh, it's parameterized by uh, uh, such equivalence classes of such pairs m comma sigma. And uh, m comma sigma G, it's uh, so it's it consists of pairs. Uh, you can think of them as as the collection of pairs obtained from uh, M comma C by conjugation and uh, taking unramified twists. So. And uh, so once you have this collection of pairs, you take 
uh, which we are obtained from M comma sigma by conjugation and unramified twist, you you form a full subcategory uh, which uh, uh, built out of uh, constituents. of uh, this in, in induced um, uh, parabolic inductions from such pairs with p prime is equals to uh, m prime u prime and uh, m prime comma sigma prime is in comma sigma g okay so you 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 have given m comma sigma you have a family of such pairs by taking conjugation and twists and then you you do a parabolic inductions from them they will have sub quotients you can add them together and uh, again so so in this way um you get a full subcategory that all its sub quotients are are there in the same category and uh, Bernstein's theorem says that the, the category of smooth representations is a is is a product of subcategories like this. So this this is quite important uh, uh, because you you can study RG the category RG block by block for many purposes. You can study say, one block at a time. So the but the question is uh, how do we know Supercuspidals exist. From the definition, you from these theorems, you just know that supercuspidals exist for some levy, but uh, but how you how do you know that uh, from the Jacquet theorem, you know that supercuspidals exist for some levy, but to, how do you know supercuspidals exist for a given group G? Exists. And then there is a related question. Uh, given uh, a representation of uh, GF, you can uh, uh, you have a dual uh, space of the representation V comma C, uh, the, and then uh, you know, equipped with GF action, and uh, now uh, the action is given by this that pi star G, and then V star. So V and V star have a pairing for any two elements, V star and V. So the action is is the one which respects this pairing V. V is in V. V star is in V star. G is in GF. So this representation, so you have constructed a representation, but it may not be smooth. So you make it smooth by re restricting it. So, so you... Uh, 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 so there is a smooth part. So uh, for every vector, uh, uh, so v v v in, v star infinity smooth part is, is 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 the union of v star uh, fixed by some k where k is compact open. Okay, so you can take you are taking those vectors which are fixed by some compact open subgroup, so that is the smooth part of it. And uh, restriction to smooth part is called the dual representation or contra gradient representation. So, definition. Pi, a representation pi is uh, called self dual 
और सेल्फ कॉन्ट्रा ग्रेडियंट इफ पाई एंड पाई डुअल आर आइसोमॉर्फिक सो द रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन इज फॉर विच जी डू सेल्फ डुअल रिप्रेजेंटेशन एग्जिस्ट ओके सो Uh, so we will prove that super cuspidals uh, always exist but uh, self dual exist uh, only for uh, most groups not all so we will describe exactly which groups they exist for so now we we are doing uh, finite reductive groups in this course and we are talking about periodic groups uh, and the two theories go quite parallel to each other so now i describe how one passes from one to the other so from periodic to finite reductive so let bg denote the bruhat its building of g so bruhat its building is uh, is 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 a difficult to construct object it's it's a polysimplicial complex on which g acts in a very nice way and uh, uh Uh, so uh, uh, some people may may have seen the building of uh, sl2 over q2 uh, and it's it's a tree which uh, which looks like this uh in general uh so it so the you you can see that it's built out of lines by by it's built by gluing lines these lines are uh, what are called apartments of tree or you can say these lines are buildings of the torus and there are various torus and you there is a way of gluing them together and then po these points are the hyperplanes of uh, of the affine roots so so affine roots are translations of roots Uh, by a discrete set, and these are the vanishing points, vanishing spaces of of uh, these uh, hyper uh, the these are fine roots. Uh, so in this case, they are just points. In in more higher rank groups, you will get uh, spaces. And uh, for um, uh, so for example, here. you can uh, uh, so let me go on further first uh so for uh, for x in the building there is a stabilizer of the point of x uh in gf and uh, this uh, stabilizer so the, in this way you define a collection of subgroups of uh, of the of the building of the of the group which are uh, which are very neatly defined and otherwise um, are conceptually hard to uh, define and uh, gf this gf the stabilizer uh admits a filtration uh gfx comma r for uh, r in in this and uh, the zero eighth one is called the parahoric subgroup
uh, at x and you define gf x comma r plus to be this uh, gf x comma s s greater than r uh, so then the theorem of Moy and Prasad is uh, that given? Uh, I think this uh, will be union, no? Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I, I meant union. Uh, yeah, sorry. A uh, given, uh, uh, given pi comma v in irreducible g, there exists uh, rho is equals to rho pi in uh, in this such that uh, v is uh, fixed by uh, rho plus for uh, some x in the building and uh, rho is minimal with this property okay so moi prasad uh, in this way associate a number to each uh, uh, irreducible representation so uh, you you look at the collection of all such um, uh, uh, as groups g comma rho plus x, x of for various x and and then you collect the lowest number at which uh, um, uh, uh, you get a non-trivial vector. Hello? Is there a question? No, no, there is no question. Okay. Probably some notification on your device. Okay, okay, okay. So, so this this is really important in the subject that uh, you know uh, you can. Uh, so this number is constant on in on the Bernstein blocks. So each reducible object in a Bernstein block has the same has the same Moiprasad depth, and so depth blocks have depths, and so you can study depth by depth at a time and the most important of this are called the depth zero blocks and uh, and depth zero blocks are of course get, are constructed out of depth zero super spirals so depth zero super spirals uh, so let x be uh, a point in the building whose uh, image so I denoted by square bracket x in the reduced building so I'm, I'm throwing more words now is uh, a vertex so reduced building is is a quotient of the building where you, uh, you know, sort of uh, get rid of the a uh, building of the split part of the uh, connected center. Uh, then uh, you have this uh, quotient zero plus. So this quotient is isomorphic to the. Uh, uh, rational points so of a of a finite deductive group and uh, then the finite field underlying is uh, is uh, is the reductive quotient of the non archimedean field and uh, Certain finite deductive FQ group. So, this 
so so uh so at each point you can uh, go uh, and uh, get get a uh, uh, a reductive group over a finite field like that and um, now now assume that x is a vertex um in in the building and that uh, uh, so i have already mentioned it's a vertex so let x be a vertex let um uh, uh, sigma b and a reducible cuspidal representation of uh, g fq and uh, sigma tilde b irreducible sub representation be any irreducible of uh, in the gfx comma 0 gf x of sigma so you you so there is only a small difference between this and that the, the 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 gf square bracket x is the normalizer of gf x comma zero in gf and uh, so it's not a big induction and uh, you you take any reducible uh, sub quotient of this and then uh, this compact induction Uh, from sigma tilde to gf so this this group gf square bracket x is compact mod center so you are doing an induction from compact mod center and uh, from a general uh, so this this is an irreducible representation and um, of depth zero and um, and therefore a super cuspidal representation by a general result of, of uh, Jackie that if you're doing uh, uh, compact mod center uh, induction from a compact compact induction from a compact mod center group then you will necessarily uh, get a super cuspidal representation if it is irreducible so you get the uh, it is super cuspidal and uh, the important thing is that uh, this is also theorem of my Prasad that all depth zero Super so, test pedals are of the above form. Okay. So we have described how to uh, produce uh, depth zero representations uh, um, out of representations of finite. Uh, uh, reductive groups and uh, so in so this is one of the ways this one of the many similarities of of uh, of this so there is um but it it gets uh, it is deeper than that so uh, uh so it looks more visually similar also so let me go to what is called a uh, regular depth zero. Uh, so uh, let's also call them Delin logistic representations, even though we are talking about periodic setting. Uh, 
representations. So let G be tamely ramified. And let S be an elliptic. Maximally unramified. Maximal torus of G and uh, theta is uh, a character of uh, SF of depth zero. Okay, uh, so just like in uh, in a uh, Delin Lustig uh, theory, you have you start with the, uh, a pair s comma theta where s is elliptic meaning that it's not contained in, in a proper levy subgroup and you start with a character and then you can construct uh, 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 a representation which is generally reducible and then you you get a bunch of irreducible components and uh, if the if the character theta is nice enough then uh, it is actually in in finite reductive setting, you get a Delin Lustig cuspidal representation. So, uh, likewise here, if the character is uh, is regular, be regular, regular meaning that uh, the stabilizer of uh, normal uh, stabilizer in this this and gsf mod sf of theta restricted to sf naught um, is one so sf naught is is the parahoric subgroup of uh, of sf and um, in general it's different from uh, the maximal bounded subgroup but i think here they coincide um, so you take those characters whose restriction to uh, uh, the, the parahoric subgroup uh, is, has trivial stabilizer in this, this sort of vial group of S. Then, um, so you are given this data. And now S associates to a point x in the building of g so the what you do uh, so the the point is given by the apartment of the maximal unramified uh, um, uh, torus and then it's uh, you in um, in the uh, extension of this building to unremified extension and then you take the Frobenius fixed points so you descend down to the building and you get a point so the point is that uh, this uh, elliptic uh, torus they associate the point in the building which is actually a vertex uh, uh, in this uh, in this setting and so you get a if you take a maximally unrefined maximal elliptic torus uh, then it associates to a vertex in the brohatitz building and um, and then you uh, you get this zero plus embedding in gf x comma 0 gf x comma 0 plus which is isomorphic to uh, so you have uh, a, an elliptic torus s under bar sitting inside uh, uh, g under bar x so we so we have uh, uh, and since 
uh, theta is depth zero. Uh, it factors. Uh, through uh, theta under bar uh, s under bar f q to c star and uh, let kappa s comma theta be the delin lustig representation Presentation of G and bar X F Q. Okay, so let's see what we have done. So we so just like in finite reductive setting, you have a pair S comma theta, uh, where S is elliptic and theta is regular. You can you you take uh, a similar pair except that uh, notion of regular regularity has to be adjusted so this is the notion of regularity um uh, that you are only interested in the the restriction of the character to the maximum so to the parabolic subgroup of uh, of sf uh, uh, of sf and uh, if it is irregular then it produces um, such a, a finite group analog um, in the reductive quotient of of uh, G at a suitable point. So you get a pair in, um, um, in in a finite reductive group, and from that pair you can produce uh, a dallin lustig cuspidal uh, that we have uh, learned in in the previous two lectures. And uh, now, once you have uh, a cuspidal representation of GFX uh, of the finite reductive part, uh, we call that this is this is uh, G under bar X F Q is the quotient of of GF X comma zero mod GF X comma zero plus. So, kappa extends to a representation uh, kappa tilde of of sf g f x comma zero uh, so so kappa certainly extends to to this this part it's not obvious that it extends to uh, to g f x comma zero times sf um, so when when uh, when when the group is unramified, then you you replace it by the center. You get the same thing, and um, and that is easy because it's uh, it's an abelian. The quotient is abelian, and so you can by my theory you can go to this level. But here it requires some work. But uh, nevertheless, you. Assume that uh, you know you 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 believe me that it, it goes from here to there by some work, and then theorem uh, for unramified it's due to debugger and reader, uh, and then mo the most general one to Kalita that uh, you the you get a representation which. Uh, G F X comma zero kappa tilde and G F. So from from a nice uh, regular elliptic pair uh, S comma theta theta of depth zero, you you are able to produce uh, a, comp a compact mod center group uh, and a cuspid and a, comp a representation of that group kappa tilde. And then you can do compact in induction, and you can produce an irreducible representation. And hence, 
super crispy L presentation and uh, so uh, so just like in 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 the dialectic setting you can do something very very analogous uh, uh in at least uh, visually analogous in this setting and obtain a representation so the representations pi s comma theta are called uh, regular depth zero super gas spiders okay so uh so this is uh this is the connect uh, with the tenin lustic setting now this uh if you want to uh, get positive depth uh supercuspidus so uh so they they can be constructed out of depth zero um uh out of some datum like this so instead of uh 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 so so pi minus 1 is um depth zero super speedel cos g0 where uh, and g vec is g0 g d is equals to g so the datum consists of a tower of subgroups of g and you are picking out a depth zero supercuspidal representation of the zeroth part of which is which i am denoting by pi minus 1 and then phi is 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 the characters of a uh, complex characters so characters meaning quasi characters of so phi phi i so this is a vector meaning a tower of characters each corresponding to uh phi i corresponding to uh phi i being a character of g i so from this datum there is a complicated construction of supercuspidals but the main ingredient is the depth zero supercuspidal and then and then you add these characters and use uh, Heis heisenberg wheel representation uh using these characters uh, to inflate them up to g uh so depth zero ones in some sense are the building blocks of all positive depth supercuspidals and supercuspidals are the building blocks of uh, um all representations uh now now we we produced a depth zero supercuspidal out of pair s comma theta what if you have uh two such pairs let s comma theta and s prime comma theta prime be same regular elliptic depth zero pairs so by same regular elliptic depth zero means what we have been discussing uh all this while uh then pi s comma theta is isomorphic to pi s prime comma theta prime if and only if s prime s 
comma theta is gf conjugate to s prime comma theta prime and uh, and then uh, using so you 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 you, may, you will recall that this theorem uh, runs exactly parallel to uh, uh, the finite reductive group uh, setting. So in finite reductive group also, if you have a regular elliptic pair and you obtain a delilustic cuspidal, then the then two such delilustics are um, are, uh, are isomorphic if they if the pairs are conjugate. Now, uh, using a result of Hakim Unahan, it follows uh, that this depth zero regular supercuspidal is isomorphic to its contra gradient uh, if and only if um, s comma theta is gf conjugate to s comma theta inverse so in this case uh, pi then uh, I check s comma theta is just pi s comma theta inverse. So, uh, so this this corollary will use for uh, for the construction of conjugate self dual. Uh, so, so, so construction of self dual representations. So, are there any uh, questions at this point? Uh, Manish, I have a question. Yes. Uh, but uh, I don't know the answer at all. So uh, the answer to the self duality is it going to be similar to algebraic representations of the group? I mean, uh, so these are complex representations, right? These are complex representations. So, uh, so like if you if you take the field to be uh, uh, the same, then you you get uh, very few representations. Complex representations are far more. They are mostly infinite dimensional. I see. So no, what I mean is, uh, so are you going to answer the question that all representations are self-dual uh, or some no. representation self-dual? No. So so the so self so uh, cuspidal representations are. Uh, so I my result will only be about cusp, cuspidal self-dual. I see. And uh, and then they are not all are, are self-dual. So you if. An is even then if you, you you if it's if it has a factor of type An and Correct. even then you don't have it. Okay, okay, okay. thanks, thanks. Okay, so uh, um, so so to show so now uh, let's go back to our original objective. We want to. Uh, show that supercuspidals exist in general, and then uh, um, so from what we have discussed so far, uh, to show uh, exists uh, enough to show. Show that uh, this uh, tame regular elliptic pairs exist. Depth zero pairs exist. Okay, so uh, so of course there are many elliptic tori. Uh, but uh, given an elliptic tori, can you 
always produce uh, a character of it which is regular so that is the question and then the next question then the for self duality uh, you you want to prove that uh, uh, such a pair is, is also conjugate self uh, so you can choose such a pair such, which is conjugate self dual um, which are uh, okay so so this uh, is the general strategy so we we only want to do deal with such pairs s comma theta and uh, so first we can do it for finite reductive group and then by the by the recipe of passing from finite reductive uh, to a regular depth zero, we will be able to handle the questions about uh, super cuspidal of periodic groups. Uh, so now uh, we can go towards the statement of theorems. So before that, I need to introduce notation. So An refers to uh, a group. That is uh, isogenous to an inner form of uh, this restriction of scalars of SLN plus one and two AN is uh, F isogenous to inner form of oops, in the form of uh, restriction of scalars um, of special unitary n plus one and uh, we will write two a n q uh, to, de to denote a group which is um, where Q is uh, some power of a prime number to denote a group which is F iso genus to an inner form of E over F plus U N plus one. Oh, so inner form I don't appear because this is finite reductive group. Uh, so we are talking about Q, uh, which is a F isogenous to uh, where uh, E has order Q. So. Um, so we'll typically use Q put to Q is equals to two. So to um, to uniformly mean that there is no restriction of scalars involved and F is cardinality two. So there's a small difference with standard usage in literature. Uh, so statements. Uh, for finite reductive, uh, the statement is this. So first I have to talk about a hypothesis, uh, which, uh, so I'll be giving a proof, but the proof does not handle um some factors of type a n or 2 a n when when the field is very small 
when the cardinality of the field is very small. So then the proof breaks down. So I throw away those factors. So let G be finite, reductive, uh, F group, uh, cardinality of F is Q, and uh, the hypothesis, a precise statement of the hypothesis is this. Uh, G has no factors of type uh, 2AK Q where K is equals to 2 and Q is equals to 2. K is equals to 2. And Q is in three comma four or K is equals to three uh, and uh, Q is equals to two, three, five or K is equals to four and Q in two, three, five. Okay, so, so, uh, yeah, so this, uh, this, uh, this small um, groups of type S U K plus one, uh, 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 when when the residue field is very small of cardinality less than or equal to five. When the field is very small uh, of cardinality less than or equal to five, then the proof I'm going to present, I uh, you know it does not work very well. So, you, the, but these are very small groups. So, uh, a hardworking person can just simply sit down and do it by hand. What happens to these cases? Uh, uh, we did not investigate it, but uh, so let me state the theorem now. Uh, theorem A. So this is a joint work with Jeff Adler. Uh, so uh, the first statement is that GF admits uh, a reducible cuspidal representations. Uh, if G satisfies uh, hypothesis uh, 1A, then GF admits irreducible caspidal uh, dallin lustig representations. Uh, if G also satisfies 1B, then uh, the following are equivalent. That uh, GF admits irreducible self-dual cuspidal representations gf admits the reducible self 
dual uh, delin lustic aspiral and then finally g has no simple factors of type a n for n even okay so so if you so the theorem says that if you if if uh, if if you're if you assume that the field is not very small so cardinality greater than 5 so then then the question so then so, so, so the theorem says that irrespective of what field and what group you are taking, you always have cuspidal representations. Now, if the field is a little bit, if if you're not assuming that the field has cardinality two, uh, then you ha always have uh, uh, delin lustig cuspidal representations. And if the field is cardinality greater than five then self-dual delin lustig representations always exist if and only if g has no factors of type a n so um, uh, so these are precisely the groups which do not admit self-dual representations and re uh, rest all admit self-dual representations and uh, uh, and if G has a factor of this this type, even a factor of this type, then uh, it does not admit self-dual representations. So this gives the complete uh, description of when a group admits self-dual representations. So now you can use this theorem and pull up uh, to the periodic setting. So you have to do a little bit of work, but you get a very analogous statement. So now I'll state the uh, periodic analog of the statement Adic. Uh, so f non in local and g is connected reductive f group now I have to make analogous hypothesis. Now there are two two numbers here. There is this uh, residue field, and then k, and there is also characteristic of the residue field. So there are three numbers. Hypothesis two. So, uh, G has no factors G has no f almost simple factors isogenous to r e o r f s u k plus 1 where uh, E over F totally ramified and the uh, unitary group is defined uh, with respect to to an unramified by quadratic extension of f of f and uh, k is equals to 2 and q is equals to 2 is equals to 2 and q so this is similar to the finite set finite setting or k is equals to 3 and q is in 
टू कॉमा थ्री कॉमा फाइव और के इजिकल्स टू फोर एंड क्यू इन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ओके सो देर इज दिस हाइपोथिस टू बट आई एम नॉट डन येट विद हाइपोथिस सो देर इज दिस हाइपोथिस थ्री नाउ हाइपोथिस थ्री is uh technical so i i will not state it but it's very weak so unramified representations are all allowed and uh, most ramified representations are allowed or uh, unramified groups are allowed and most many uh, probably all ramified with some exceptions are allowed and um, but the but the hypothesis is not straight forward to straight so i'll just refer it to uh section 8.6 of this paper uh 2020 okay so i'll just make a remark uh maybe i'll i'll just trim uh state in the theorem the theorem statement uh first firstly uh that uh, uh group uh, f points of reductive uh, group always admit super cuspidal representations um if g satisfies hypothesis 1 uh a then uh, gf admits regular depth zero uh representations so if uh, if the res uh, cardinality of the residue field is greater than 2 <clears throat> then uh, you certainly have uh, uh, not just a super cuspidal representation but regular depth zero super cuspidal representation and if g also satisfies uh, this hypothesis 1 2b this is hypothesis 2 hypothesis 2b and hypothesis 3 and the residue characteristic p of the residue field f is uh, is is odd then the following are equivalent uh so this uh is very analogous to finite setting that gf admits a reducible self dual super cuspidal representations then uh, gf admits a reducible self dual regular zero super cuspidal representations and then g has no f almost simple factors of type an or even 
and okay so this is the statement about the uh, 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 self duality and representation so represent self uh, super spiders always exist if the residue character set is 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 not too small uh, is if the residue field cardinality is more than two then a regular super pedals also exist and if the residue cardinal field cardinality is more than five then super the self dual super pedals exist if and only if the group has no factors of type uh, uh, factors which are isogenous to sl n plus one where n is even now i can say something about the character residue characteristic two also so finally uh if uh, if p is equals to two and either uh, q not equal to two uh, so uh, the residue field cardinality is not two or g has no factors of type 2a3 or 2a4 then gf admits a reducible self dual representations spider so this completes the statements i wanted to make in this lecture and uh, and uh, i want to begin the proofs uh, from like next lecture onwards so i'll recall uh, things like uh, how tori are constructed uh, and uh, how the galva action changes uh, when you choose uh, uh, they are parameterized by conjugacy classes twisted conjugacy classes in the file group uh, how the galva action is given and things like that and uh, and then i'll be able to show that usually you can produce uh, s comma theta pair out of coxeter tori but uh, there are a few important cases where this is not the case but there it's not uh, really bad it's very similar uh to the coxeter situation and uh, yes and uh, so the proof is very elementary uh, and uh, you 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 don't need anything more than basic knowledge of finite deductive proofs so manish you can uh, pinpoint which representations uh, uh, will this be like you can construct also uh, so yeah so uh, so like i i told you uh, i can uh, exactly pinpoint what uh, this uh, self dual representation will be we can right. produce such uh, it's a constructible proof yes oh. nice. uh, yeah. and uh, yeah so we produce the nice ones the 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 regular ones right Yeah, very good. So, are there any questions from any of the students? Yeah. A very good lecture, Manish. Uh, thank you, Manish. <laughs>